so as in our last video we are finished with diversity types of diversity where we discuss genetic diversity species diversity and ecological diversity let us discuss here diversity in plant life what are different species different group of life for in plant world so first diversity on the basis of habitat plant grow in variety of habitats on the basis of habitat plant may be classified into following groups first one is hydrophyte habitat means where the plant is life hydrophytes hydro means water so the plant growing near water or submerged under water are called hydrophytes especially water plants are referred as hydrophyte such plants have a poor root system soft stem poor vascular tissue the bulk of tissue is spongy provide with the air spaces and help the plant to float and the nature of this floating is termed as buoyancy so what are the hydrophytes first is submerged hydrophyte submerged those plants are fully covered by water all the part of that plant are under water submers means especially under water plant totally covered by water example is valisneria hydrilla potamogeton here this is the this one is the valisneria and this one is the hydrilla next is free floating hydrophytes or fixed and free fixed floating hydrophyte free floating are uh, ulfia fair the green part are the on the water surface and the root are inside the soil these are the free floating so free floating are ulfia and salvinia here and fixed floating are nymphia water lily lotus botanical name is nymphia so in case of nymphia mainly water lily and lotus you may know the root are fixed inside the mold the spongy large spicules are within the water and the leaves are floating on the surface of water so these are the fixed floating hydrophytes next is amphibious hydrophyte only partly submerged example is ranunculus alisma plantago sagittaria etc here is the example of alisma and plantago next hygrophytes hygrophytes are the plants grow in the moist and sandy habitat their stem and roots are soft and spongy and so stunted growth the leaves are well developed provided with the stomata so moist and sandy habitat plants are termed as hygrophytes the example is for begonia the first one example is on begonia here is the begonia and next is the fern here is the example of a fern or these are the sandy moist sandy habitat plant termed as pteridophyte here is the example of a begonia 
नेक्स्ट इज हेलोफाइट्स हेलोफाइट्स मीन्स सॉल्ट लविंग प्लांट्स और फाउंड इन सलाइनिटी एरिया दिस प्लांट्स ग्रो इन सलाइन और सलाइन सॉइल और सलाइन वाटर कंडीशन दे कैन टॉलरेट ए रिलेटिव हाई कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ सॉल्ट लाइक सोडियम क्लोराइड एग्नेशियम क्लोराइड एंड मैग्नेशियम सल्फेट दे हैव कैरेक्टरिस्टिक नेगेटिवली जियोट्रोफिक ब्रीदिंग रूट्स कॉल्ड न्यूमाटोफोर्स एग्जाम्पल इज मैनग्रोव वेजिटेशन लाइक राइजोफोरा फर्स्ट वन इन द अपर सर्फेस अपर पार्ट द कॉर्नर डायग्राम इज द मैनग्रोव वेजिटेशन ऑफ राइजोफोरा रूट और न्यूमाटोफोरिक रूट नेक्स्ट इज सेरियोप्स वन ऑफ द हेलोफाइट्स नेक्स्ट इज मेजोफाइट्स मेजोफाइट्स द मेजोरिटी ऑफ एंजियोस्पर्म्स ग्रो इन ए प्लेस ऑफ मॉडरेट वाटर सप्लाई एंड आर नोन एज मेजोफाइट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल गुआभा मैंगो पियर्स स्टार फ्रूट दिज प्लांट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड मॉडरेट वाटर दे यूजली लार्ज एंड फास्ट ग्रोइंग दे हैव वेल डेवलप रूट एंड लीव्स द स्टेम मे बी हर्बासियस और उडी दे कैन दे आर सर्टन मेजोफाइट सजाज डेसिड्यूस ट्रीज फिच आर मेजोफाइटिक ड्यूरिंग समर एंड जीरो फाइटिंग ड्यूरिंग विंटर ऑल्सो next is xerophytic i hope you are quite acquainted with the term xerophytic means xeric condition desert condition where negligible amount of water supply are there these plants this the plants of that area is referred as xerophyte for example euphorbia acacia arzamon amaranthus first is the example of euphorbia mili a xerophytic habitat plant some xerophytes store water in their stem for example aponsia aloe vera bryophyllum etc xerophyte may be further divided into three types that is lithophytes means those grow on the surface of a rock samophyte grow on the sandy soil and xylophyte grow on the acidic soil next is epiphytes epiphytes are the plants that grow on the trunk or branches of other plants for example orchid or lichen growing on the surface of other plant as an epiphyte here this is the example of two epiphyte the epiphytes are considered as just space parasite however the interaction between the orchid growing on a tree would be an example of communalism where the host is unharmed while the communals benefit and then next is parasitic plant these are the plant living on the other plant as parasite for example cosketa i hope you heard with the term cascata epiphytes and the display image is striga which grow on the on the jowar plant here is the jowar plant and the blue color flower plant is striga here we finish diversity on the basis of habitat if you have any query please comment in the comment box and in our next video we are goes through the diversity on the basis of habitat still then stay tuned with let's learn botany thank you